come by car then, have you ever to zoom? Unless you live in one of these farmhouses. I don't know. Might have jogged here. here. Might have parachuted in. Could have done, yeah. Could have done. Hi guys, well, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If it is your first time around here, I'm out today with UK audits. Big up! And we are at, anyone know from the clip that you've seen already? We are at RAF Menwith Hill. It's pretty much recognised as the world's largest spy base. It's operated by the US Department of Defence, but the base is commanded by a British RAF, is it Colonel or whatever? Commander, I believe it is, RAF Commander. Um, so we're just chilling. We're just walking up now towards the um, RAF base entrance. Police van's just going to pass us there, as you've seen. There's dogs in the back. Did you hear them barking? Is it, yeah. And, um, yeah, we might, as well, we might see if we'll turn around. We'll check in soon, guys. So this is the, well, one of the side fences. Wow, it goes far. There's cameras every, what would you say that is, every 50, 100 metres? I'd say so, yeah. About every 50 or 100 metres. What does that sign say? It says, no unauthorised access, protected site under the Serious Organised Climb and Police Act 2005. Trespass on this site is a criminal offence. Um, I have already checked out the surveys, guys, so the fence is the, is the limit. So we're basically absolutely fine here. If you can just see, there's cameras every, like, every literally 50 or 100 metres. So we're just going to keep making his way up this main road. Every, every time we get a vantage point like this, we'll show you it. So guys, this is quite a long road that we're walking up here. It just seems to not end, but I can see the entrance to the base in sight at the top of this road. So give us a rolling more. So we have a police contact, guys. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, no, no, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Can I just ask what you're, uh, you're doing? Just uh, making a video, mate. Of? Uh, about the base. Oh, what about the base? Then? Just about the base. It's quite a fascinating base. <laughs> world, world's it? largest spy base is what Google says. Oh, OK. Where, whereabouts do you come from? Uh, home, mate. Where's home? Don't really want to tell you that. Oh, OK. If that's all right. No, it's fine. What, so what, are you just, just taking videos from the outside? Are you just walking along the... the well, I don't think they're going to let us in, but did you? <laughs> no, not, no. <laughs> are you going to give your names or anything like that? Um, not, not really, no. Okay. No. Where's this video going then? Um, don't know yet. Don't know yet. Depends. Oh. Now you guys turned up, it'll probably go on social media. Oh, okay. But uh, the story's um, just about the base in general. Alright. Oh, There's a lot so of facts and everything. Have you got a YouTube channel? Have you a specific one that's going to go on? Um, nothing in mind yet. No. No. Alright. It's got a good day for it. It's lovely day, isn't it, man? It's nice. Really nice. How long have you been working? Have you just started just now, have you? Um, we've, we've had a little look around the area. We've just started filming right now. Yeah. If you come by car then, have you ever to zoom? Unless you live in one of these farmhouses. I don't know. Might have jogged here. here. Might have parachuted in. It could have done, yeah. Could have done. Or oh, just appeared miraculously. Miraculously. Yeah. No, I'm no worries. You right, have a good day. No, you too as well, guys. Stay safe. Yeah. Well guys, there you go. First bit of police contact. Um, in all fairness, I'm going to say extremely polite. Yeah, he was. Extremely he was, polite. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Here we go. So this is what we were here to see. How cool is that? So these golf balls are the, some of the world's largest, what I would call... So are the satellites or radars, bruv? Satellites. satellites. That's right. So the satellites, I keep calling them radars, but they're not radars, guys, the satellites. And these are used, basically, primarily, to listen in to people's phone calls, to access images from satellites. Um, I do believe there's stories on this space about their involvement with capturing um, Mr. Bin Laden. Um, whatever it is, Mr. Bin Laden, I call him that, I forgot his first name. Um, but it's really, it's interesting. Um, me and UK audits were just saying that you can actually feel the pressure of being here. Like you know that it's a serious place. We know that they've got obviously armed DOD police around the area. And I won't lie, my adrenaline and heartbeat is higher than normal on any other audit. But we've got this, we've got 
a one it says police dogs and another one of the same size that we've just seen down there again the fence it just goes forever and ever and ever and ever um look at these cool little things as well is that what you see on the call of duty in it you know oh, middle of roads yeah. you can't get through on them <laughs> awesome man awesome all right let's keep going guys let's go check out the main gate so guys, after a little bit of a discussion with my informed filming partner for the day, these domes have a special name and they are called Radomes. That's R-A-D-O-M-E-S, Radomes. They're actually made out of like tiny little uh, triangles, loads of little triangles, you can see them all there. Uh, pretty interesting. It is. From what I can gather, it looks like they're all the good. Look at this guys, don't go, don't go over that boundary, yeah, they're already staring at us. Look at this guys. Are they going to come say hello? We've already spoke to the colleague. What do you reckon? Reckon they come say hello or are they going to leave us alone? So she's just been on the radio, but we have already spoke to the colleagues. So, got UK audits there just doing his thing. I'm just staying in the background, make sure I've got that vantage point. He's got a cool dog, the guy in the high vis. You can just see there. Got a little doggy. The woman in black's an armed police officer, the other one isn't armed. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, I believe this might be some sort of testing bay, guys. Because if we, if we go down here. Here we go, look at that. So it looks like the sort of place, you know, where your cars go inside and they get, you know, the the mirrors put under your wheels, all that sort of stuff, maybe even x-rayed. But yeah, it's like a check-in base where the um, check-in deliveries, the, I'm sure they're very, very careful whether it's a whether it's a DHL food weekly shopping delivery or it's actually something else. Oh, there's a sign over there, let me get this sign. Ah, so that's different. this is the RAF Menworth Hill Nestfield Gate. So there's obviously different gated entrances on the way around. See where Daz has gone. What are we doing up here, lad? Are you allowed to be up there? Are you allowed to be up there? What do you reckon guys? Is he allowed to be up there or what? It's cool man. What a cool place. Oh, turn, turn tunes up lads. Got some music in there. In fact, no, don't. I'll get a copyright strike. <laughs> Oh, we've got doggies. Oh dear, you must be sweating out here, lads. Hey, good boy. Good lad. Good boy. A nice yeah, year. Good boy. Some form of like trucks going. I don't know if it's like a scanner maybe. It looks like one of them bays where they'll check your vehicles check, and that, yeah, you know. Check the trucks, yeah. They'll Probably probably. In with the goods, I presume. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying that the probably more care, they probably check everything, whether it's the weekly Iceland shopping, yeah. or it's somewhere else. They have to be very careful. Make sure they're not smuggling anyone in the boots or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's quite um, quite risky. We seem to be getting followed for some reason as well, guys. Yeah, 
Barry Affy, does he? No. Barclays Bank, definitely not. No. no. Are you? Who are we? Two guys with two cameras. Two. Yeah, we've already spoke to the armed officers. We're perfectly legal to be here. Is that unmarked? Dog's not uh, much of a security dog. Sat there chilling. I reckon, it's, I reckon it's a um, no doubt a sniffer, sniffer dog. dog. Yeah, sniffer yeah, dog, yeah, yeah. I reckon it'll be a sniffer. Oof. Put the barriers up over there. Can you see that, guys? Check that out. Oh, I don't be going into no weird lockdown and going weird about us. You've uh, closed the gates, put a red light on now. Come, let's go back down to this gate. See, if, if, if they're all going to come, they're prepared. There's no need for something like that. We're not in a car, so no, no. don't know why to put the barrier up, but there's no need for that. They can't be that bothered, the police haven't actually come to speak to us. Yeah, yeah. No need to be alarmed guys, it's only a camera, we are outside the perimeter fence. <laughs> this armed officer doesn't seem... All that, please, in fairness, that we're here. But photography is not a crime. You know how I know? Because it says so on my t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop a link in the description if you want to grab one of these t shirts for yourself. But yeah, that's quite a good shot at golf ball for me. But unfortunately, the sun is so bright, it's just murdering my picture. Murdering it. But. So, we've got some more police that looks like they're heading down towards us. I don't know if they are where they are yet. Now they're going too fast. Same guys, same guys, same two we spoke to earlier. So it looks like we're all in the clear, they're not going to try to bother us. Fine. Fingers crossed. So we've just found a public footpath at the bottom of the base. But that's the map that I was looking at that I was telling you about online. That shows the perimeter that we can and cannot enter. So literally their, their fence is literally the perimeter, so we, we can go up and touch the fence eff effectively, which starts again over there. So guys, walking through these fields and now it's a public uh, footpath that it states is here. I think the public footpath actually goes the other direction, but you're still allowed to walk up to the fence. So UK audits up there in front, no messing about. It's a very, very, very vast site. It is huge. It just goes on for absolutely ever. I'm sorry about the camera right now because the sun is beaming straight into my lens and I'm trying to get the best picture I possibly can for you. So guys, we're just gonna have a little mooch down this part of the fence line. This is a very, very, very top military base in the UK. It really is. Yeah, it looks like a water tower, maybe. It does, it? Yeah, I'd say a water Something tower. Like that, yeah. Just there. But we're gonna walk around here and see what we see. Out interesting. So they've got. Sorry about the noise, guys. But they've got their own water treatment plant here on site. These are a lot of thousands of people here, so I bet the toilet gets flushed many times a day. But yeah, they've got their own uh, treatment site. That's bonkers, isn't it? Well, maybe it's not bonkers, but it is to me. <laughs> right, so we are approaching the main gate now. We are approaching the main gate. Everyone is fully aware that we are here, so this shouldn't realistically be much of an issue. 
we're definitely not looking to create much of an issue. Oh, fuck's sake, we didn't carve that. I, I don't know, I don't know, I think this might be MOD land. But we have walked from what's publicly accessible, bro. The public footpath. Yeah, but I'm going to walk up here and I'm going to stand outside. I'm going to stand outside that yellow line. We have got armed police just at the side of us in that base there, yeah, guys. There's an armed officer there staring at us. You all right? You all right? Armed guards on the gates. Hey, he waved back, he waved back. So we're here at the main gates, guys. We're here at the main gates. You can see here, if I, if I bring you a bit closer, that's the, that's a better copy of the sign that we were just looking at. Yeah. It's much more, it's much more readable. So this is basically it's a bunch of bylaws. Um, these bylaws may be cited as the RAF men will with bylaws 96 and shall come into force on 19th of February 96. HMS Forest Moor Men will Hill Station bylaws, blah de blah. I'm just trying to find where it says can't do this and can't do that. So yeah, so the application area means all the land shown on a map down here which lies within the outermost edges of the red line on that map. So this red line, oh look, so you see that corner that we said we could have walked through, apparently we can't. Wow. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, apparently, yeah. good job, yeah. I guess we didn't go, go through there. Yeah. So apparently we're not allowed to go through that corner bit. But this bit, wow. you actually are fine. There's a little extension part there as well, a really yeah. small extension part, I'm not sure what that is. But there's a, you see, there's a full red box and there's a tiny little red box there as well that we're also not allowed to go into. But we are here guys. We are at RAF Men with Hill. Really, really. Oh, it's actually like a little mini police station, look. It's got like police sign on there. I don't think they're gonna come over and ask us, uh, answer any questions for us. I'm sure they're actually not going to ask us any questions, but I would genuinely like to ask them some. Look, we've got that sign there that says police. It's just that sign like it's a little police station. Maybe this is their post, you know, like where they work out of from the base. I do apologize for, I do apologize for any uh, wind issues right now, guys, but there's not a lot I can do. I'm still lazy. I still haven't bought my send a wind muff. Look at the area that we're in, guys. Just look at it. Look at the view from this place. What lie. It's a nice view. That is for sure. So if we just walk up here, you can see there's two police vans with OSU on it. I would say that is something support unit. Oh, what does the O stand for? So we are getting like stared at quite a bit. This is that security. And the armed, so here we go, oh where are we, there we go, we've got security here, and then armed police there, not entirely, they're not bothered about us, they have genuinely, genuinely left us alone, which is absolutely brilliant because photography is not a crime. Yo, if you haven't already done it, go jump over to UK Audit's channel. My man's giving out the education, he's got loads of facts on this place, so go check out his video after you've seen mine. Respect, his link is in the description below. This is that. I tell you what, I tell you what I am thinking guys. I'm thinking, because they've left us alone and done all this, yeah, my guess is this. I think that when we go back and get into UK Audit's car, we're gonna get pulled, leaving the site. I'm, I'm positive of it, but we will see. We will see. If I do, if we do. Just another video in it, guys. He'll have to give his details, but obviously I'll be a passenger, so that won't be happening, but we'll see. Got a police van coming out, guys. I think, I think we might have to get the um, pinnack out. Don't you? 
I'll get my I'll get my pinnock out. It's a bit windy guys. It is a bit windy. I do apologize. I'm gonna start the body camera. Body camera rolling. Let's see if they're gonna come and talk to us. We have got the OSU van just here. They have come to say hello. Let's see what they've got to say, shall we? Put it on the tripod. He's in plain clothes, that guy as well, look. He's in trainers and plain clothes. Thought they were gonna. Thought they might come talk to us then. I guess not. I've got my Akbo here, in case they uh, want it. But yeah, you know, here's what it is. I've got to surely want the word. I wouldn't box. Otherwise, why has he brought the van to the outside of here, but not coming to us? No, not on the show. I don't think. I don't think they're gonna bother us, mate. <laughs> The Ministry of Defence one over there. Oh, let's go and have a look then. Tell you what guys, if you're working for the um, RAF or the, shall I say the Americans at RAF men with film, they even got a bus man. Look at that. They even got a bus. Well I suppose because they're in the middle of nowhere, they don't actually have running public transport here. So if the squaddies want to go into town and get pissed up or whatever, you know what I mean, they can't drive. <laughs> So guys, we're here at RAF Men with Hill. We've had a good day, we've had a sweaty back walk around. This site is absolutely huge. We've seen some of the, what are the balls called again? Radomes. Radomes, Radomes. We've had contact with one unit that were really cool to be fair. You'll have already seen that by now. We've actually been in this location here for probably about 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, the armed police officer who is in the the main office there at that side is hiding away. He's not showing himself on camera. When we went past in the car, he was actually stood outside. But credit though, stood out there all day in this heat. With all that gate, probably will be sweating his bollocks off. Um, we've also got security in this little cabin here. He's been paying us probably more attention than the police officers, to be fair, because the cop doesn't give a shit. But yeah, we then had the we, we then had a police van just here come out to us. Is that kind of a police van? from that side around to here right now at this moment um, unless there's anything else guys this might be close to the end um, but I'll be sure to drop something else in before the end so guys we're just approaching what seems to be the living quarters for the staff that live and work on site pretty decent house here's the pretty big they've got garages and everything like that as UK audits just pointed out to me um, Pretty decent, but one thing that is just pointed out is that it looks desolate. There's, there's absolutely no one about. It's completely deserted. I'm guessing that'll be because they're all at work, but I expected... What about you? Did you expect to see a lot more action on this base? A lot more movement and stuff going on? But it's just not. It's quite... It's very, very quiet. You know it's supposed to be on fucking high alert. Yeah. <laughs> Good point, bruv. Good point. So here we are, guys. We've got a bit of a clearer shot now. We're on the actual back and oh no, side entrance, I believe, side entrance. Um, but you've got a beautiful view of those big golf balls here. Look at the size of them. There's loads of big ones, small ones, miniature ones. We're not size this deal. We have domes of all sizes. Just getting them banging shots. Just getting them banging shots. 
So one interesting thing about RAF Men With Hill is they have a farm on site. Yes, a sheep farm. So I won't zoom in, but yeah, you can see the sheep there. Plenty of sheep is. All the sheep will are inside there. But yeah, a bit bonkers. I'll call them golf balls now coming into view, guys. Look at them. I know you can't see it the best at the moment, but you will do in a minute. Yes, bro. <laughs> Just getting them banging shots. Just getting them banging shots. So one interesting thing about RAF Men With Hill is they have a farm on site. Yes, a sheep farm. So I won't zoom in, but yeah, you can see the sheep there. Plenty of sheep is. All the sheep will are inside there. But yeah, a bit bonkers. I'll call them golf balls now coming into view, guys. Look at them. I know you can't see it the best at the moment, but you will do in a minute. So guys, this is probably the biggest vantage point to see all the red domes at one singular time. It's it's quite quite mad to be fair. But there's a lot of it's straight in front of us. That one there's actually a little building attached to it. If you can just make that out there. I don't want to zoom in too much because I know it'll affect the video quality. I'm only rocking with my mobile phone today, I haven't got the nick on out. But what a sight, what a sight. So if you can just see there guys, they are currently constructing a new red home. There's two of them. They were both gave the go ahead in 2019. And as you can see, they're just starting at the bottom of the bowl to cover the satellite. So guys, we've done a full lap of RAF Men With Hill. I ain't got a clue how many miles we've walked, but we've fucking, we've done a fair few, let me tell you that. The weather is absolutely beautiful as well. But that's it, we are now heading back to the vehicle. Been an awesome day. Been wanting to hit this spot for a long time. Check back in with you soon, guys. So guys, we're currently walking through a small woodland area at the side of the base. And it's weird because the path has actually been cut out for us. Like, look, all the branches have actually been cut. So there's actually a clear walkway through for everyone. Bonkers. We're actually trying to um, find his way out, but you can't seem to find it at the moment. It's getting um, a bit annoying. We're stuck. Looks like we're staying here for the night. <laughs> we'll check back in soon. Hey guys, just to keep you updated, um, as we was in them wooded area that you've just seen, a police van came past and it seems like they've probably been trailing us from a good distance behind because it went all the way down this road in front of me and on the other side of the fence mines. And then when we popped back out of the woods and basically appeared back on camera, it's turned back round and it's now parked behind me over there. You see it? There it is. It's just sat there. Check back in with you soon, guys. We're try still trying to get out of here. We trapped her in the well, on the outsider perimeter fence of RAF Men with Hill. So, guys, we did finally get out of there. Um, as we got back to the car, a uh, police car X5 did drive past us. But they haven't stopped us. You see, back in the distance there, they're the golf balls or the Ramdons, Radons rather. Uh, it's been a brilliant day out auditing with UK audits. Big respect to you, my lad. Everybody else, please, like I said earlier, please hit his, kind of talk, hit his link in the description below and drop that sub and drop a like. Everyone, as always, big love, peace and respect.